Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Anne. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my daily makeup routine. Um, I'm gonna be telling you how I uh, make my eyes look bigger, make my nose look smaller, um, generally emphasize my good features and de-emphasize my bad features, um, of which I have very few, I might add. Um, I'm going to show you what products I use, um, like these uh, little makeup application pads. Um, also, the genius of this hair device, uh, a little no heat curler, has multiple functions. Not only does it curl your bangs, but it keeps your hair out of the way while you're getting ready. Can't beat it for like 50 cents or whatever these things cost. They are awesome and everybody should buy a few. Hmm. See, you just put it in just like this, curl your hair up around it, let it sit, and just like that, hair's out of the way. When we're done, hair will be curled too. It's great, saves you the time with the curling iron and all that good stuff. And then I also would like to show you guys this little face shaver here. It's, um, I stole it from my husband. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I got it to, uh, mostly for my eyebrows and for this five o'clock shadow you see here on my chin. No, I'm just kidding once again, just for my eyebrows. Um, anyways, uh, after you trim the eyebrow, you want to um, come in here and draw in whatever's missing and kind of make it look full and nice and um, even. Um, then uh, once you've done all of that, you want to get some primer. Primer, I can't tell you guys how important primer is. Just like if you're painting a car, painting your face, you need to start with primer, all right? So uh, the primer is going to give you a nice smooth surface to work with, hide your pores, and uh, just generally conceal any blemishes or ugliness that you might have on your face, um, making it much easier to uh, get that beautiful glamorous look that you're, that you're shooting for. Now, um, when you apply it, um, some people like to apply it with just the, uh, the tips of their fingers, but me, I like to just rub it in, just, just smear it all over the face good. And um, here you'll see this eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using. And uh, it's pretty nice. You see the different uh, options that are available there depending on your eye and what you're looking for and the color of your eye, that sort of thing. I am Asian. I have brown eyes, so I'm using the uh, brown palette. Um, see? Here it is, the brown palette. Um, anybody who has like brown eyes, brown or, or darker skin color might want to go with something like this. Um, anyways, I'm going to use this brush and we're going to start applying on the top lid. Uh, if you're like me and you use glue to create a nice uh, fake double lid, shh, then uh, you got to be careful here because uh, the glue makes it hard to apply some of the uh, different eyeshadow uh, stuff to the top of your eye. Um, see these two products here, um, even though you can't read it, uh, I'm not going to tell you what they are because um, it's none of your business. Um, no, I'm just kidding. They are, uh, they're nude. Once again, you can't read it though. Um, and I'm going to use that uh, sort of kind of like the primer um, to apply to give a nice base to work with here before we start um, to both the top and bottom. Um, I probably should have done that uh, before I put on some of the eyeliner, but uh, that's okay. It'll work fine because um, I'm a professional. So now, um, once I've got that, I'm going to take this little tool that comes in the eyeshadow. Uh, it's got a little fat end and a small end, and you just about need a pair of tweezers to hold on to it because it's so small. And I'm going to use the fat end, and I'm going to use it to apply some of these colors to my eye. I think. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here I go. See, see, look here. And I'm going to use it to apply a little bit of a darker color there to the corner of my eye, the outside corner, um, because I want to uh, make my eyes look bigger, because that's what Asians do. We want our whole face to be nothing but eyes. If we could have just eyes on our head, that would be awesome. We would love it. Um, see there, now we've got that applied. And now I'm going to use this lighter color here. And what I'm going to do with that is um, I'm going to actually use it on the inside of my eye. And I'm just going to apply it with my finger um, because I don't have time to grab brushes. Um, actually, it's because I 
find that it's easier to apply with the fingers. Oh, and here's the curl. Isn't that nice? Hair nice and curled. Didn't even have to use any heat. And the whole time, it kept the hair out of my eyes. So, once again, everybody should use one of those if you have bangs. Um, now we're going to go with the eyeliner. Um, if you don't apply eyeliner, it uh, really is just a waste of um, your time to apply any makeup at all. Um, and once we've got the eyeliner, we're going to put the fake lashes on. The fake lashes really help with that uh, eyes as big as the whole head kind of look that we go for here. Um, and we're going to de-emphasize the size of my nose to, uh, you know, make my eyes look bigger. Because um, my nose is kind of big, it stands out, and I want to do anything short of plastic surgery to make it smaller. So I'm going to kind of emphasize the tip of my nose and try to de-emphasize the wideness. Does that make sense? See? There you go. Emphasizing the tip and de-emphasizing the wideness. That makes my nose look smaller and gets me closer to that um, two eyeballs the size of my whole head look that I'm going for. I'm just going to use this brush here to blend it in, then we're going to use my finger to blend in because, well, I don't know what I'm doing, I just, uh, oh, there we go, lipstick now, the lip color to uh, make my lips look nice, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to subscribe and come back and watch more videos of mine to learn how to make your head nothing but eyes. Bye-bye.